illness or an injury left you or a loved one with a long term disability. Well, imagine there would be an entire host of new challenges to face. Well, the mission of Home Builders Foundation is to provide home modifications that allow people to live more independent, elevated lives. Well, here are executive directors Beth Forbes and a client, Abby Heasley. Beth, I want to start with you. What does the Home Builders Foundation do? Sure. Home Builders Foundation is a Denver based nonprofit and we modify homes to make them accessible for people living with long term physical disabilities. So we actually go inside the home and make changes to the existing home to make it available to the individual and their family. So things like ramps, barrier free bathrooms, lifts, grab bars, anything that helps with access from room to room or floor to floor. Wow, so making it really easy for people to live their everyday lives, which is so great. So how are individuals selected uh, for these home modifications? Yeah, we have an application process. Most of our applications come in online now, which is at hbfdenver.org, apply for assistance. And those applications come from word of mouth and many of our referral partners in the community. So other organizations that are serving people with long-term physical disabilities. And so far in about 28 years, we've helped more than 1900 individuals have better access to their homes. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's huge. Okay. That's so great. And let's talk about the impact that this has on people's lives. I mean, what have you heard? How, how has this impacted so many people? Well, our mission is building independence, elevating lives. So the building independence is part of the actual making of the modification that building independence, but it gets people back to their their regular everyday lives and being able to do things that you and I take for granted, like going to doctor's appointments or getting in and out of the home or simply bathing by ourselves. Um, and then the elevating lives is really beyond that, being able to access their community, be an active parent, um, be a part of a faith community, anything that helps them be true to themselves um, without any worry about barriers. Incredible. Well, Abby, I want to come to you because, I mean, you have a great story for us. You reached out to Home Builders Foundation with a specific project in mind, of course. If you could share with us uh, just more about what it was and why you made this request. Yeah. Um, so my oldest daughter, Hattie, was born with a rare chromosome disorder called 1Q43Q44 deletion syndrome. And with that comes developmental delays. She has seizures, a G-tube, and we push her around in her hot pink wheelchair. Um, so as Hattie got older, um, it became a little bit more difficult to get her in and out of our home. We had three stairs in our garage leading up to our door that were becoming a huge challenge. And I knew that um, home builders could help us out with that. Wow, yeah, definitely. So yeah, how has that ramp installation impacted your whole family? So the ramp has been a huge blessing to our family. Um, it makes just getting in and out of our home so much easier. We don't have to worry about lifting her in and out of her wheelchair anymore. Um, we can just go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Uh, she loves to be outside and play with her younger sister Shiloh. And now we can just roll her right down the ramp and play outside and just not have to worry about that challenge anymore. Oh, wow, just such an incredible story and such a great way, again, that you guys are helping. So cool. So, Beth, I want to come back to you. The foundation, of course, receives a lot of support from the home building industry. Can you explain how these professionals lend a hand to you guys? Sure. Well, our organization started back in 1993 um, through the ideas and efforts of individuals and companies from home builders, trades, and suppliers that wanted a way to give back to the community. We use and mobilize those volunteers and resources to give back to the community. So they donate labor, they donate materials, they discount the cost of things so that we're able to leverage their skills and expertise and also the materials and labor to help even more people in our community. So we rely on just individuals and companies um, and the relationships that we've had within the home building industry for nearly three decades. Before I let you guys go, I would love to hear, Beth, how does this make you feel to be able to help out the community in this way, to help out these families? I mean, how do you feel being able to do this? Well, I'm just so lucky. I've been here almost 11 years, and I've never met a more giving group of individuals and companies. They help us all year round um, with different, not only with the hands-on projects, but also with fundraising initiatives. So we have major events during the year. Um, they support us on events like Colorado Gives Day, which is coming up. 
Um, they support us with an initiative we recently had called Inspiration House, where um, we build a house and the trades and builder come together to support that effort. And, and so I just feel really lucky to be around so many giving individuals and also to be able to meet people like Abby and her daughter, Hattie, and be able to help them and know that we have so much impact in our community. Yeah, and Abby, I have to come to you too. I mean, is there anything that you wanna to say to Beth and the rest of the foundation for everything that they've done to help you guys? I mean, thank you is not enough. Um, just meeting you and meeting the volunteers that came out for the project uh, was just a huge impact to our family. And we'll never forget that day that you guys built the ramp for us. And um, every day when we go down, we're just, you know, so thankful. So thank you so much. Awesome. Learn more about Home Builders Foundation and get involved. It's hbfdenver.org. You can also donate on Colorado Gives Day, December the 7th. That site is coloradogivesday.org.